morning guys it is time for another daycare day in the life where i take you through my day i'm gonna try to take you through start to finish um it's not gonna be a very detailed like morning routine or evening routine but just like a rundown of how i spend my days it is now about six o'clock i'm about to get the girls up with my husband and I've already gotten up around 4, I get down around 4.10 by the time I get myself up, go to the bathroom, that kind of thing. I always start my day with my coffee that's already brewed the night before. I fill up my Contigo as well that I sip throughout the day, it's my special treat. And then I also have some wild noni concentrate that I put into a glass and I drink that three times a day if I remember and it just helps with mental clarity, it helps absorb nutrients, it's just a really great boost um, to all the you know to help aid me throughout the day to have the energy I need and then I work on business stuff for this channel and some other side stuff in the morning from about 4 to 5 40 if I have time I do my miracle morning as well but I've kind of been more relaxed on that because I've been trying to work on some other stuff so that's what I do I edited videos this morning and then I got ready and got my makeup on, my hair done. I got dressed, picked out my outfit for an interview I have tonight, and now it's about six o'clock. So I have about seven daycare kids total today. One will be at preschool in the morning and won't get here till about 11, but the rest will get here in the morning. Two of them are my own daughters. So I have, just to give you a rundown, I have a just turned one year old. I have an 18 month old who's my daughter. I have a two three year olds and then three four-year-olds I think that adds up to seven <laughs> um, and so it's just a Tuesday here we're gonna be doing our normal stuff and I will take you guys along forgot to do a load of laundry last night so I'm gonna throw in my towel load time to get Celia up is there a cute little girl in here oh is she hiding good morning baby hi I share this on a lot of videos um, but I pick out she and I pick out her outfits for the week. So we just get it out and we're ready to get dressed. So he's all ready, time to get Brady up. Good morning, love bug. <laughs> Crazy hair girl. Her outfits are all, always picked out as well. So Sam just grabbed her so he can go take her down to get changed and ready. So it takes her vitamins in the morning. Then we do our essential oils. This thing won't focus. Um, I did a whole video on how we stay healthy, but I can link that below. I get our milks ready for the day. Celia's just drinking her hot tea, which is just warmed up milk, and she's coloring. We only have Kindle time now on preschool mornings, and she doesn't have preschool this morning. So she usually watches it while she eats her breakfast on preschool mornings, but she doesn't have preschool today, so she's just coloring. We always color before breakfast, so I set up our papers and crayons Right now, so when I get up here, I can we can just start coloring right away and I can start getting breakfast ready. And then the little ones who sit in these two spots, I give like a little snack of Cheerios while I make breakfast. So the girls like to have this juice in the morning. So this is just like a fruit pouch with 22 different superfoods, the juice of it. They can have half each because they're little, but um, I love that it really adds to their nutrition, Miss Crazy Hair. So fill out Celia's gratitude journal while she's drinking her juice. This little one likes to be my helper. Should we go put the blankies out? She's going to help me put the blankets out and we're going to go down and vacuum. You want to help too? Okay. So I always put blankets down on the rug to help protect the rug, first of all, and to give the kids, you know, a sense of how far back to sit from the TV. I don't let them on my couch except on jammy movie days when it's completely covered with blankets. There she goes, Miss Crazy. 
because they like two white boogers and have bloody noses and stuff so they stay on here and that way I can wash them regularly so I don't usually have time to vacuum at night anymore because we're so busy but you know when kids come in they track and sand Bryony spilled Cheerios last night so I'm just gonna quick do a vacuum before I open because sometimes I get kids right at 7 Had to put water in her hair to try to tame the mullet. Do you have a mullet? <laughs> because she pulls ponytails out and rips her hair out. Before any of the kids get here, I like to pull out our bin with our crafts and get that all ready. I gotta get our, usually Tuesdays we review what we did Monday because I have a bunch of kids at preschool on Monday. So I grab some of that and add it to it. These are books I get out that we will be reading at snack. We're gonna be reading about Blue Jays for spring. The Day the Crayons Quit, and Who Hops, which is the library book that I get monthly. They pick out some for me, and I pick them up. Yep, called it. First child is arriving. It's very difficult for me this time of day because they're crazy, trying to get stuff ready, and then the kids start arriving. So I use a Funshine Express curriculum. I will link to any videos I have about that below, but we're learning about spring right now, which is perfect timing. So we're going to play this game. I just got the cube ready. We're also going to review the color blue, do the letter U and practice writing it, and do sequences of the seasons. We are also going to review the rhombus, which we learned yesterday when we went on a rhombus walk where we looked for them. We found 11, which I thought was pretty good, so just review that today. And because we have a pretty learning heavy day, we normally don't do that much, but we had spring break last week, so we're kind of doubling up. Um, we're going to just do this really simple cotton ball cloud craft okay so it's now close to 7 15 and with many interruptions i'm ready for the day this was our craft yesterday i just want to show you guys isn't it the cutest it's tulips and we used a wooden fork to make it look like tulips and those were our tea crafts from like over a week ago so now it's just play time until the kids get here you may notice we have a happy birthday sign it's because we have two kids birthdays this week right she's been taking money out and putting money back in for about 20 minutes Heading upstairs for breakfast, holding one baby while she climbs up the stairs. Kids are coloring. I'm back to see if I the game because and I'm gonna make work. I have two more kids coming later, and like I said, one more kid coming when they get off the bus at lunchtime, so I only have four here right now. So we're having bagels with cream cheese and cuties. Cut them up smaller for the babies. The added benefit of cuties is put the peel down the disposal and it freshens it. So I don't eat, so while I'm watching them eat, because um, I do intermittent fasting, so I don't eat till lunchtime. I was just looking through the pantry that I just recently purged and realized we don't have any quinoa and I had planned a quinoa dish. I could do rice, but last week we had rice and it was like the messiest ever. But I found these potatoes that we need to use up, so I'm gonna just Google some ideas for cooking these. Like in the Instant Pot, we've got, I thought like baby barbecue meatballs with potatoes. We'll see. Alexa, play Little Kid Station on Amazon. The station little kids music on Amazon music I washed the potatoes I got my seasonings here for lunchtime I don't know if this pineapple is still good but I plan to use it for lunch if it is once I cut into it later I will find out but I like to just get stuff ready for lunch so it makes my life easier the kids always dump their plates here they dump food if they have food plates and stuff that I wash and then garbage here when we start to get squirrely and a couple kids are done, then I set a timer for two to three minutes and it helps those who are still eating finish up or decide that they're done. Quick clean the high chair and Bryony's plate and then we head downstairs. So everybody is here now. I just changed the littlest ones. Change your diapers, right? And now you're going to go night night. How do you go night night? <laughs> I'm not going to show our entire preschool time. If you want to know more about that, I will leave the link to me explaining it in the description. Ah, 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 sound. So, ah, ah, umbrella. Ah, ah, umbrella. Ah, ah, urchin. Ah, ah, 
urchin. A uh, a uh, umpire. A uh, a uh, umpire. A uh, a uh, up. A uh, a uh, up. The uh, turtle. Did you? Yeah. Oh, we're doing a different paint craft. We're gonna make clouds today. Clouds. What picture did you get? Pinwheel. So start at the pinwheel. boots and then go to the first pinwheel. Good job. Okay, pass it to a friend. We are making clouds with cotton balls and white paint. It's better if you sit down. Some of us do it differently and that's okay. I made mine like this and I was showing how we can color on the bottom if we want. So I left markers here if they want to do that or they can just make clouds everywhere if they want. What are you drawing, Seals? I'm drawing Seals and me. And I'm wearing a humongous dress. And I am a grown up. So I think you kill Kelly. Hmm. I'm a grown up too. Time to get the babies up. Hello. Trust me, every day is not smooth sailing. We have a lot of arguing and bickering and calm down time and similar things. But we're all going potty, just change the babies, and then we're going to go for a walk. I'm about to go for a walk, going over the rules because. It's a struggle. It's been a hot mess walk. We totally forgot all the walking rules. So we're going back. <laughs> Real life. Just got back. I'm not gonna lie, it's exhausting trying to get two toddlers stuff off while they're trying to get into everything and kids are not listening very well. But we're getting our nap stuff out. We always do this before we head upstairs just to make nap time happen easier. I do put the babies in the little seats, the little toddlers, so they're not undoing everything that we're doing. And then they pick out some books. I'm gonna set the chairs out. And then the child who's at preschool is gonna sleep here. And then I get our little CD player with, it's got a sound, sleep sounds CD that I play. Cause it can be really loud and drown out any noises. And then our fan as well. I just plug them in behind the gate so that, you know, nobody's touching it. We do watch a show before lunch while I'm cooking and I'll show you what I do with the little ones. Okay, the little ones play, I haven't put the other one in here quite yet just so I could show you guys. Um, my octagon playpen I just put right here by the kitchen since I'll be cooking in here and then I'm also watching for the bus out this window for when the kid at preschool gets here. I won't lie that walk totally wore me out. If you guys have your own children in daycare with you I know you understand, oh my gosh. And every spring we go through this where we have to relearn that you can't run into the street, that you can't run ahead of everybody. Um, and they were very much pushing the boundaries on that. And so I was like, okay, we're turning around, we're going back. <sighs> Sooner you draw the line, the better. So we headed back, it was still like a half an hour walk, which was good, hopefully tired them out a little bit, but I'm tired, I'm tired from, just the boundaries you guys you know with kids when they keep pushing the boundaries it's exhausting so I got this recipe from onion ring onion rings and things so I'm just gonna I hit the saute then I'm gonna throw the potatoes in for five to six minutes and then I'm gonna throw the herbs and spices in with some oil and then cook them for seven minutes in the instant I'm about to break my fast with my wild noni concentrate and my little fruit pouch I just mix them together with some water and chug it I just steam some of our sugar snap peas in the microwave. I changed my mind. I'm going to do these bananas before they go bad. And because, quite frankly, I'm just tired. <laughs> Potatoes are in. Okay, here's the final product. Uh, a couple kids don't eat pork, so I just did barbecue shredded chicken that we already had shredded for the week. Um, but the rest of the kids are having banana, the like sauteed, steamed, Sugar snap peas, I put some butter and salt on there, and then barbecue meatballs and the potatoes. I'm just letting them cool for a little bit before I serve them. And then I'm having a meatball salad. And I like to get the table all set before we eat, so I bring everything over, then I bring the baby to the table after I wash their hands, and then we wash our hands and sit down. Okay, Bryony and the baby, or just turned one year old, are still eating. They eat for a little bit. The kids go watch like an educational video or do a dance party, and then, I clean up really quickly and then they go one by one to the bathroom which is just down the stairs. Okay, dishwasher's completely full. So I always run it after lunch unless by a freak of nature, but it's not full. So I'm gonna run that so it'll be done right up in a nap.
Okay, just laid the kids down. Changed the littlest one's diapers, right? This one gets so silly. Then I blow kisses to the kids, tell them goodnight, go over the nap rolls, get them all snuggled in. She takes a little bit, turn on the fan, turn on the sound thing, and then I go to lay this one down, and we just sing, and I rock her in her rocking chair. I have the monitor with me, so I can still you know, see and hear the kids. And then I go lay Celia down, we read a couple books. Just my time to just feed into these little ones a little bit, my own ones, so that, you know, daycare is hard on them. She's so silly this time of day. Are you tired? Owie. Okay. What, where's your elephant? What's your elephant say? Okay, so it's about one o'clock. Finally got everybody down. Whew, tired. I was gonna have a phone interview because I have a couple spots open, trying to fill for the summer mainly. Um, but I am exhausted. Kids are fussy. I have a feeling this nap is not gonna go very well, so I postponed that. Um, but I do still have an interview tonight, so the, that was mainly my reason I wanted to make sure, you know, I could focus on the phone call, plus I'm just, I need to regain some energy because I have an interview tonight, and when you've worked 10 hours with kids and you're already tired as it is, but it's been kind of a rough day so far, and then you have an interview right after, and then your kids are hungry and fussy, like, it's just, gets to be a very long day, so I want to maintain my composure so that I can be myself at the interview tonight. I have some stuff I'm gonna work on but I got the monitor here and check on the kids every so often. We'll see how it goes. So I like to start my bi my nap time with some Bible reading just to get my heart right. Um, especially on days like today. Days like today don't happen super often but ooh, when they do they wear me out. So um, it's a one year Bible. I am not doing it like every single day. I just do it when I, you know, Monday through Friday I try to do it. And then, you know, I'll get through it. I probably won't get through it in a whole year, but that's okay. I spent most of nap meal planning for April and making our grocery list. Like I said, I have an interview tonight, so I like to just take some time during nap to get everything ready. So I have the little sheets I will staple. Our stapler is actually downstairs because our we had two and one broke, so that stays in the daycare. So I'll staple these later. But these I give to the parents. This when I play, I'm learning. And it shows all the things they're learning through different kinds of play. And then I give a sample menu. And I have this um, printout of just like questions that I ask them during the interview. And I have a whole video on interview tips, so I'll link that below. And then I also have some like quote sheets that I'm not going to show you, but with like the kids' ages and um, how much they pay, what it costs to start, what days I'm closed, that kind of stuff. So we've had nothing but troubles with this, but I normally connect a slideshow that I made on eMaze up to the TV, and then I use our wireless mouse, so when I sit over here during the interviews, it works. But I don't have much time to monkey around with it, so I'll try, maybe Sam can help me later. I just, we, this is a new TV since the last time we've had an interview so I don't know why it's not working. For snack I just cut paper plates in half. We're having string cheese and these Mickey shaped veggie, veggie chips. I've never served them before but so they got some for preschool snack at her school and so I just bought an extra bag to give to the kids. So I set them out so we can come right up and start reading our books which are right over there and eat. Okay before I get the kids up at three I like to empty the dishwasher and put it all away so it's ready at supper time. Okay, after nap is pretty crazy. My hair is a nut mess. I wanted to freshen up before this interview. I just didn't have time. Hopefully, I'm hoping everybody will be picked up by 4.30 because they know I have an interview tonight. So that way I can have 45 minutes to like freshen up, get the girls some food and Santa will be home, hopefully. Um, anyway, but after, uh, when I head down, I bring Bryony down and Celia down and we you know, the kids get up, put all their nap stuff away, I change the little ones, and then all the big kids go potty one by one, and then we all head up for a snack. But it's a crazy time, so I'm not gonna really be able to show you much during that. And then we pretty much just play until all the kids go home. Post snack, ugh, mess. 
4.35, Sam's been home for like 40 minutes trying to work on the TV hookup and the person that has the interview just told me they forgot they had something going on tonight. So I don't know if we're even having the interview now. I just cleaned the bathrooms and Sam took out the diaper garbage. It's frustrating when you have something planned and people don't realize how much work it is to actually do these interviews. So we'll see, especially since Celia has so many activities. I don't know when we're gonna reschedule. So interview is officially postponed. So now we're like, now I don't know what I'm doing. And I had kids here till 4.50 anyway. So just frustrated. I'm sure if you guys are a day before, you understand. It's really frustrating when you spend all this time getting the paperwork ready before the interview and your house, like if there's a mess, like I was cleaning up extra after snack and everything while the kids were getting antsy because I wanted to make sure the floors were clean and like getting my outfit picked out and I was gonna have the girls eat dinner early but then when kids didn't get picked up I was getting stressed out about it so it's just frustrating um, but it is what it is so I think I'm just gonna end the vlog here different ending than I had planned but anyway that's just life so this is a not so normal daycare day in the life so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what similarities and differences you have in your day, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, guys.